We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi, guys. Todd here. Today, we're going to be having a look at the Hussar RDA version 2. Now, the version 1 was out, I think I reviewed this back in January 2018. So, almost, yeah, it was. I'm sure it was back then. I'm just checking here. Yeah, 18th of January 2018 was when I reviewed the V1. Uh, the V1 was a good RDA. I still have it. I kept it because I enjoy vaping with it. It could be a noisy little so-and-so. Uh, it really could. Uh, but I still think the flavour from it is tremendous. And we'll talk about that more at the end because I am going to do a direct comparison between the two. Now, as far as I know with the V2 right now, the only place that you can get it is through a Facebook group. Uh, I, I've not seen any lists or anything up just now. Uh, but they, they usually end up working their way out to uh, some specific websites for sale. Uh, but right now, don't know. Uh, all the specifications and everything and pricing I shall give you as we go along in the close-ups. Which I think we shall do right now. So when I was in Hamburg, I bumped into the Hussar guys and Matthias handed over this package. Inside, there was a little baggie and uh, we have some o-rings in there, but no post screws, no spare post screws. Uh, I don't know if this was uh, an oversight or if, if it actually doesn't come with any, uh, but if it doesn't come with any, I'd be a bit disappointed because uh, there should be one spare one minimum. But once again, that might just be an oversight because I did pick this up when I was at an expo. One stainless steel, a uh, 24 mil beauty ring. Now, obviously, this is a 22 millimeter RSA or RDA, uh, but uh, yes, so you've got a 22 to 24 mil beauty ring here. One badge or sticker, and uh, the Atty was actually inside this bag as well, but it came with the usual 510 vape stand. They're always done so well. The presentation on Hussar gear is really, really nice. Hussar RDA 2, and yes underneath it's really nice i like it i love this presentation and obviously with it being a 510 stand you know you can actually use this when you're doing your builds now the rda obviously this has been used it's not going to be spotlessly clean or or, or nick free i have been using this uh this is 18.5 millimeters top to bottom not including the drip tip or the 510 and it's 22 millimeters in diameter uh now I will show you the V1 uh, just as a comparison. So here's a quick side by side. Uh, excuse all the marks on this one, but uh, this is the V1 and this is the V2. This is the V1 deck and here is the brand new one, the V2. And, and just to give you a little side by side comparison of them both here, they are kind of similar. Uh, this does on the V2, it is, this, you know, it's got deeper down there than the V1. Uh, but uh, the airflow kind of is working differently also because we have these two holes rather than this open slot here and uh, Yes, so there we go. There's a comparison between the V1 and the V2 top caps are kind of similar inside uh, V1 here V2 and uh, Yes, you can see the, the differences between the two there now. There was no uh, Standard 510 drip tip that came with this uh, it was just a squonk pin. That's all there was with this. And there you go, designed and manufactured in Poland. And we have a number running along the bottom. We've got a gold-plated 510 pin. Uh, as usual, it's got the slot going on there. I'm not usually a fan of the slotted 510 squonk pin, but uh, yes, that's what we have there. Uh, you can then see that we've got deep wells, uh, deeper wells than the V1. And, uh, you know, the, the juice is going to come out the bottom there. Hopefully you can see the, the holes that are just at the bottom of the wells. Uh, we do have Hussar RDA2. We have my name as a serial number. Uh, strangely enough, I thought it was going to say Bob Ag, but they actually put my name down. And uh, O-rings, the O-rings are perfect. Uh, very happy about that. Uh, I usually moan at them about their O-rings, but the tolerances on this O-ring is perfect. Now, the way the airflow works in this, there's two, and I think they're about 1.8 mil. And my, my calipers, it took out about 1.76. It's probably about 1.8 millimeters for each air hole there. So you've got two in that side and two in that side. Now, coil placement on this thing is key. Uh, I'll talk about this more at the end, uh, but very important with the coil placement on this one. 
but you can see you do have you've got two slots here so you can actually put your coiling rod in there and uh, we've got our standard stainless steel screws and we've got the gold plating going on here as well for the positive contact this little guy over here is your locating pin that just means that you can see you've got on either side there and there we'll sit with that and it means that the top cap will only spin so far the drip tip that comes with it it's a little i find it a little bit in the short side for uh, for the way i vape and and if you want to go mouth along with this then obviously you'll be wanting to use a, a slightly narrower bore drip tip uh, but yeah, I just find it a little bit on the short side, this drip tip, but that's personal preference. Uh, we do have the usual, and just this should unscrew from here. I'm going to make an assumption here uh, that the this is, you know, the old ones are compatible with the RDA V2. Um, I don't know for a fact if they are, but, uh, you know, those, you get like torpedo caps and all this kind of stuff. Uh, I think they will be compatible with this. Uh, the actual machining and the finishing, there's no sharp edges here at all. Everything inside is done well. And yeah, I have no issues with the machining on this. It's the same going round here. There's no drastic sharp edges, which was a criticism of some of the their stuff in the past. But yeah, there are no sharp edges going on here. Now, one thing, you'll get simple round wire coils in here. You'll get uh, claptons, fused claptons and so on. Uh, just to double check uh, how far this screw comes out before, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Hopefully you can see, you know, the screw is actually coming out past this level. I'm never a fan when the screw only comes up so far and you struggle getting the wire down the side. But you can see here, you know, see how you've got this, this little angled piece here as well. So you can slide your wire in there. I think that's quite clever that the way they've done that it's i don't know if i've seen that on another atty but uh, yes there we go now for me coil placement is is key on this i do I, I will discuss this a lot more at the end but my humble opinion this is my take on it it doesn't mean if you're doing it differently it doesn't mean that you're wrong and i'm right it's just the way i like to vape and what i have found uh you can see hopefully that how high the coil is there you can see that there uh, I find that raising the coil up to this height works really well on this. I found if I had the coil any lower, uh, it was it was muted. It was a muted flavour, and and also a three millimeter inner diameter coils. I I really do not like in this device at all. I think it sings with a two point five ID, and that's with a wire like this or a simple round wire build. But uh, yeah, there we go. And uh, just so you can see the squonky action, if I fills up and takes away I must admit I do I do like having the bigger wells in in this one uh, not I mean a lot bigger or deeper I should say than the v1 uh, so I find that I don't have to you know squonk as often because you know I've got lots of juice going into these wells and saturating the cotton here uh, and, and that's it that's my build in um, all done on the Hussar v2 RDA Putting the top cap on, uh, just remember that this, this little grub screw here goes into those slots. So I'm just line up roughly by eye and down she goes. And you can see now that uh, it's only going to spin so far. And once again, the O-ring tolerances and the movement on this are bang on. They're perfect. Uh, so you can go from... This does... I'll, I'll talk about the airflow at the end, but uh, there you go. And this is a... Uh, a runt uh, this is the arc uh, squonker by runt mods so the v2 hussar rda or the hussar rda v2 once again i'd say and i've said this so many times now uh and do i need to say it again yeah what the hell the machining quality the finishing everything on this is is two thumbs up the presentation yes it's great um, that I just cannot take that away. Uh, they've come such a long way, in my opinion, and uh, it's done very, very well. Uh, now, the thing for me is how does it compare to the V1? Because I really like the V1. I, I still have my V1 here. Uh, and what I'm doing just now is I have a V1 and a V2, uh, both on squonkers with MOSFETs, the same, uh, 
Yes, same MOSFETs. I am fully charged batteries with the exact same juice. I'm using some uh, NATA and um, same coil. It's a 0 0.35 ohm coil uh, from PC coils. Exactly the same. So uh, the V1, um, hopefully you'll hear this. V2. Very different. Actually very different. Uh, there, there is a, a lot more air. Well, I think there's a lot more air going through the V1 than the V2. And the thing about the V2 is it's, it's a lot easier to... When I say a lot more air, it, wow, I'm, 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 I don't know if I'm wording that correctly. There, there's definitely more air, but the V2 is also smoother. Um, I think with having the two air holes instead of just one big open one is making a big difference on the way the air feels going through this. Uh, the other thing is, and if I turn this, it's so easy with the top cap, the O-rings are perfect. Hurrah! Uh, the O-rings are perfect on this and, and it's dead easy to take it down to just one air hole, which is a loose mouth to lung. It is, it is a loose mouth to lung. Not the perfect coil for it, but I have had other coils through this. Definitely <coughs> a loose mouth to lung. That coil's too low for a loose mouth to lung. There you go. The flavour. Now, the flavour from this. The flavour, I'm enjoying the flavour from both of them. The issue I was having when I put my very first build in this, um, I, I, I hadn't used the V1 in, a, in quite a while. Uh, so I went straight into the V2 and I put in a 3mm inner diameter coil. Uh, it was a 0 0.4 ohm. And it was, uh, it was a fuse Clapton, and oh God, the flavour was so muted. I was really disappointed. I was really disappointed. Uh, I was playing with the height, uh, I, I, and I just nothing. It just wasn't as good as the V1 was, um, or as I remembered it. Put in a 2.5 uh, millimeter coil or, or inner diameter coil, and solved. That's it. Uh, for me, this, and we're all different, we all like different things and, and you might find, it might be different for you, people that have the V2 already, please, if, you, if, if it's different for you, put your comments below in the video and let people know how you're getting on with it. But for me, a 3mm in diameter fancy coil just doesn't work. And it didn't matter where the, the coil was placed, it just didn't work well for me at all. Even a 3mm ID round wire still didn't work as well as any 2.5. 2.5 for me is where the flavour comes through loud and proud. And I find you have to get that coil high. Um, yeah, for me, as you would have seen in the close-ups in the build that I did, uh, getting that coil high makes all the difference. Uh, so it's not clouds, bro. I mean, you you would have seen there. I am getting a, a lot of vapor coming out of this, but once again, V1, V2 fully open. It's about the same, but it just feels smoother and a, a little bit tighter. I was worried at first. I was worried. I thought this video, this review was going to go a completely different way. And I, and I thought Matthias would send out the gang to hunt me down and, and beat the shit out of me. Uh, but uh, hopefully not now. This is a, a different kind of animal to the V1. I would say if, if you like the V1 with the air and fully open, I don't know if the V2 will necessarily be for you. I, I think they're, they're two slightly different vaping styles. I think the V2 has gone down more of the, you know, where we're not mouth to lung, but more restriction and more mouth to lung type stuff. I think that's where the V2 has gone. And, and, and it's, it's a good RDA, it's a good RDA. But that 2.5 in a diameter, the coil height has to be right or it's just not that great. But it can be great if you put some effort into it. Uh, and that's it. Um, is there anything else I should mention? I don't think so.
I think I covered the mouth to lung thing. It is loose mouth, it works well loose mouth to lung. Uh, so you've got restricted direct lung and loose mouth to lung. So it does cover and the, the machining and everything, the top cap, the O-rings, the screws and everything that is, yes, it works well. Um, and I'll leave it at that. Uh, thank you to the Hassar team as always for sending this on or for giving it to, to me in, in Hamburg. Thank you, Matthias. And uh, to you guys as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.